you get a phone call. It's from a loved one. They were just in a severely bad car crash. Later on, you find out that it was from texting and driving. Texting and driving is very dangerous and can risk lives. You should avoid it as much as possible and make a promise to yourself that you won't text and drive in order to ensure the safety of you and other people. The following information is very credible for all of it is well-known well -known organizations and they're also supported with multiple sources. In this speech, you will learn how easy it is to get in a car crash just from texting and driving and what you can stop, do to stop it. Texting and driving must be safe to ensure the safety of everyone, including yourself. According to the National Driving Test Organization, in 2015, 3,477 people were killed from texting and driving, and 391,000 people were injured from texting and driving. What this shows is that literally anyone can get in a crash from texting and driving. You may think that you're immune from it, or that you there's no way that you could get hurt, but it is so likely. In fact, according to the National Driving Test Organization also, the second you pick up your phone, you're 23% more likely to get in a car crash. This is so important because just by picking up your phone for two seconds, it could be the end of your life. Not only does it increase your risk for a crash as soon as you pick up your phone, but according to the Behavioral Scientist Organization, a study showed that just by picking up your phone, you are so much more likely to get in a car crash rather than, you're more likely to get in a car crash when you pick up your phone than a person who's driving drunk. This is how important it is to understand how likely it is that you can get hurt from this just by distracted driving. So what are you gonna do to stop it? Well, you could do many things to stop it. For one, you could talk to your loved ones about how serious this is and what you can do to stop it. And according to the UC Davis Health News Organization, there are many apps that can block out all notifications. And there's also a do not disturb button on the iPhone, which you can hit so you don't get any notifications while you're driving. So you don't have the temptation to start texting somebody back. There is also a thing that you could do where you can hide like your phone in the trunk or something that way that you don't resist that way that you resist texting you could also put it in a spot maybe like in the back seat where you won't get up and text somebody while you're driving and this is very important because if you do this it can be your life you could also make a promise. If you make a promise to yourself, your family, or an organization, you kind of like ensure that safety for yourself because you're more likely to resist breaking that temptation if you were to like make a promise to yourself or somebody else. Now I want you to imagine being in the car with your best friend. You're driving and you get a text from somebody and your phone keeps blowing up. Your friend says, don't text them, it'll be fine, just text them when we get home. But you pick up your phone anyways. The next thing you know, you're in the hospital and so is your best friend. Your best friend is now in critical condition just because you were texting and driving. Imagine how that would make you feel. This has actually happened once before and it can all be avoided if you just stopped and waited until you were stopped, until you were stopped. According to the ABC News, a teenager once got in a very bad car crash because of this once. And now she's blind, half deaf, and not even nearly as close to what she can do now as what she used to be able to do. Just because she made the wrong decision once and she can never take back her life. She can never take back the thing that she did or her friend that she hurt. It just, she'll never be able to get those moments back. In conclusion, you are the only person that can decide your future. If you just stop and you resist to completely text anyone, you hide your phone in the back seat, you hide your phone in the trunk, you turn on do not disturb mode, or maybe even you just get an app if you don't have an iPhone or something else that can completely diminish any text messages so you don't even know that they even pop up. This is so important because if 
You do the following things or you even make a promise to your family, you can ensure your safety and you can have a much safer environment. This is an issue in Jackson, which has happened recently. We had lost a student from Grass Lake High School due to texting and driving. And this is why it is so important that we learned from this mistake and we learned to keep our families and our friends safe from it. So be the one who makes the change. Texting and driving has caused so many accidents for people. You're, there's no way that you can avoid it as long as you don't text and drive. If you're texting and driving, you're not gonna be able to avoid that car crash and you also could possibly harm the people around you. So with that being said, you can make the change. You can talk to your family and your friends about how important this is. Just imagine a better community of all of us could be and it can just be that by the start of the change of you. So be the change, stop texting and driving and keeping our community safe. Thank you for watching.